Hello, welcome back everybody. Um, so right, so we're in Gainsborough um, and we're here on Queensway. So we're going to show you some bits um, as we take a walk. So right, well the first thing, hang on Keely. Hang on, you're running. Anyway, so right across the road, um, where that red sign is across the door, that used to be the co-op. Believe it or not, that was the co-op. And uh, next door, obviously, is Salvation Army. That used to be run by Tony. Then there's a paper shop just further down. That used to belong to a man called Jason and his wife. Bugs. Further down from that, uh, where it says post office on there. Um, next door to that, you've got uh, a little place for treats on, but we'll show that on the way back. Um, and then you've got an hairdresser just more or less um, there as well So I'm going to show you just something across the road as well um, So I'm going to show you um, a vehicle um, right, Hang on Keely, I'm just going to pop over here So yeah, so I'm just going to take you and I'm just going to show you this uh, car um, So yeah, so that leads down. So this one here, this very first one, that was the co-op. So yeah, I'm gonna show you this absolutely lovely car. Honestly, it's really nice that for an old one. It's definitely really nice. <laughs> and it's uh, an old Vauxhall. Hi. So right, yeah, so we'll carry on. Um, and we're just gonna go like in, like a big circle now obviously we did this uh, yesterday but as I explained I ended up having to delete it so anyway so you've got flats which are all there on your right hand side and if you look behind me there's flats at the top of the shops and then there's flats at the other side of that as well um, and I believe they um, are owned and run by Asus <laughs> so just further up here um, You've got Whiteswood Lane. Yeah, so I'm not going to turn it too much, but that there takes you down to Whiteswood, uh, Whiteswood Lane. It goes all the way down past the school, um, because obviously there is a school. Uh, so yeah, so if you can see in the front, so that there, like I said, is Whiteswood. Then I'll just point out across the road as well. I can't remember what they call that one. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, I'll tell you in a minute what the name of that uh, road is. It's Cherry Tree Road, just over there. That's Cherry Tree Road. Uh, and there's Keely. Uh, just a mention as well. Um, thank you, uh, Roxy, um, for subscribing to the channel. Yeah, you never got to see Keely because uh, Keely was rolling the fag in the car. So there's Keely. There she is. Um, and you'll know who you are, Roxy, because I was chatting to you at uh, the Skegness Stadium. So it's a big thumbs up from me and a big thumbs up from Keely to you. Uh, and if you like your food, um, if anybody out there loves to see somebody cooking, uh, Roman Adventurers UK, check their channel out. Please subscribe to theirs as well um, because they're cooking spot on. They can both cook. And this street here, it's Springfield Close. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, as uh, yeah, Rich, uh, Richard did some cooking, uh, Kari did some cooking, um, and when I watched um, what Richard did, honestly, you made me hungry, mate. I was going to ram raid our fridge, but too early in the morning. I did watch it back about, I don't know, six. So I'm always up early, it's just me. Uh, so yeah, so what you see behind me down there, that's Whiteswood, Whiteswood Lane. So I'm going to show you some more um, round here, obviously. 
and I'm going to show you a lovely garden as well, you ain't going to believe this. And just across the road, I'll just turn the camera, I'm going to turn the camera that way a little bit. That one is Newlands. So, uh, so that's that one there where my hand is. So I'm going to show you this absolutely lovely, gorgeous garden. I hope you can see that because that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that everybody. That's what you call the garden. That's how garden should be and as beautiful as what that looks. That is a double thumbs up. That is absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. Yeah. That's his mum and dad. Right. I'm gonna give you a better I hope you can see all this. Um, this is actually up on Queensway, believe it or not. But yeah, it's on Queensway. Um, but that is stunning. That is perfect. So right, yeah, so anyway, we're gonna walk a little bit further down. Uh, so I've just shown you where the Newlands is. And uh, I'm gonna point across the road. Um, now Andy, um, ex Gainsborough lad, you might remember this mate, because when I show you this, you'll say, oh blimey, that has all changed. So I'm just going to walk um, just down here to the corner. Yeah, I was saying Adventures UK, they cook some brilliant food. So uh, check out their um, channel, subscribe as well, honestly. You won't be disappointed. And the really drone footage is absolutely brilliant. Right, so across there used to be a pub. That used to be a pub. Believe it or not, it was. And then this little building here used to be a bookies. Now you ain't believe that, but it's true. That used to be a bookies, and that, like I said, that used to be a pub. It's mad how things have changed here in Gainsborough. Um, it really, really has. Do you know what I mean? Things change. Um, you know, things get knocked down, things get rebuilt. But that, honestly, now I remember going drinking in there. So just past that, where I am now. I'm going to show you as well. I'm not going to go, well, I can't get in anyway. So right, if you see them double gates there, you, if you went through there, park up and used to go bowling, there's like a play area in there for kids. And then there was also bowling as well. And I know I went in there bowling. So yeah, so this is, um, like I said, it's all part of Queensway. Um, so like I said, yeah, that, that co-op, like I said, that used to be um, a pub. Uh, and of course, like I said, that little uh, wooden, uh, that little concrete shed used to be the bookies. So just across the road again, where this car is, that is Middlefield Lane. And if I spin the camera around, that is Heathham Road. So as I explained, it takes you, so you go down there over, over to Park Springs, and over uh, Middies Bridge, which Middlefield Lane School is now gone, um, the building house is on it. So yeah, Heap and Road is literally behind me. Um, yeah. And it was nice to just show you that old uh, box hall as well. I just thought I'd get that on. It was really nice. Uh, so yeah, so there's Keely. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Roxy. Like I said, um, you know, to, for subscribing to the channel. Um, that was brilliant, thank you. Um, and it was nice to have a chat with you, um, you know, yeah, that was, uh, yeah, absolutely. Good morning. Good morning. Well, at least there's st still some very friendly people here in Gainsborough, that's a good thing. Yeah, we noticed this as well. I um, <laughs> don't know if you can see all that, but I thought it was a bit odd, but, you know, hi. Still a garden at the end of the day. Still a garden. That's a kind of good thing. <laughs> yeah, well, we know, but it does happen. Uh, yeah, so anyway, across the road, which I'll show you as well. Um, now, I don't know who still works in there, but there used to be Obon's shop, which was um, literally there with the brown shutters. That was Obon's shop. You've got Aqua Wash uh, over there. Uh, you've got Cox's uh, fish and chip fish and chip shop. Get my words out. 
and I remember going in that so that obviously is uh, more or less still the same which is brilliant it is absolutely brilliant it really is uh, and there's a little snicket just across the road as well I'll just point out as well it's just there where my hand is um, like I said there's a snicket you can walk down um, and that takes you back onto Middlefield Lane, uh, further up where the bridge is. Well, you go through a little housing estate and then it takes you. Uh, yeah, so like I said, we'll take you for like a walk in a big circle here on Queensway. Um, and if you just look like down, there's also a school um, on your left hand side, which is also uh, still there as well. But I, I have noticed the names changed on that. And then just where the school is, turn right, Dorton Avenue, and then takes you up to Old uh, North Parade. So, <coughs> so yeah, so when I showed you the flats further down, this is um, the other set of flats, which is just here, just behind me there. And then, like I said, if you just go all the way down there, go all the way down to the bottom, and it goes light round or you can um, even go off to Thaker Avenue if you can still get that way around then it takes you to Thaker Avenue but yeah um, I believe they are run I do believe that they're owned by ACES I'll just stand in the road and just give you a quick um, just a bit of a quick picture like it says all the way down and of course um, it does say Queensway But yeah, it takes me back, I can tell you, it takes me back when I lived on here. Because I actually did live just up here on Queensway for a very, very long time. So what I'll do, I'll just cross over and I'm going to show you um, them shops. So you can get a bit better uh, view of what I mentioned going up the other way. So obviously we went up that way and then we'll come back around this way. Like I said, come back around in like a big circle. thought it was, you know why not so yeah um so just over there where that fence is there's a school of course kids are still off school i've got no idea when the kids go back here so I've got zero idea but anyway this is queensway so right i'll just turn it and i'll just try to focus it down a little bit to try and give you a little bit uh, better footage as we're walking past so yeah, so you've got King's uh, King's Barber hairdresser, as you can see on the screen. Then you've got this place next door, it says Capiella. Then you've got, but this, um, I think this one was a hairdresser's a long time ago. I'm sure it was. And of course you've got your lovely red post pots. Then you've got your pharmacy, which is there. And the one that I mentioned earlier, sweets and treats so this shop here this uh, little post office here um, like I said it used to be owned and run by a man called Jason I can't remember what his wife's name is um, so then we'll just take you a little bit further up so then you've got another hairdressers which is there And I'm just going to take you just in this tunnel because I'm going to show you, believe it or not, but where all these cars are parked, where all these cars are parked, they actually used to be garages. Started off at the bottom and then went up just past that car. So that's definitely um, all changed as well. So this is behind the shops. And like I said, to get to the flats up there, if you go down the side of, um, like, go through the back through the tunnel, go down the side, little bugs, um, there's a, a door uh, with steps, so it leads, obviously, up to, up to the flats. And the same again on the other side, further back down that way as well. And as you can see, there is a school uh, just over in the background there. Um, so yeah, it has all changed. It's all changed up here. It really has. Like I said, I lived up here years ago. 
But yeah, like I said, it's the garages there. So obviously they've gone. So then you've got this um, community store, which is there, which never used to be there. Now, the Salvation Army, like I said, that used to be run by Tony. Um, I don't know if Tony still runs it or not. I've got zero idea, and I'm not really going to go in and ask. But, oh, excuse me. Well, there's the, there's the entrance into the Salvation Army. And then we'll just walk further down. And we'll show you the front of this place. <laughs> what used to be the co-op. Believe it or not. That used to be the co-op area in Queensway. And then of course you've got that really old box hall car there. So all I used to do when I wanted to go to the co-op is walk from that path, there where my finger is, over the road and straight in to the co-op. Now you couldn't get no closer than that, could you? You could definitely not get no closer <laughs> than that, honestly. Uh, What's up? No, it's uh, YouTube and I was just saying when it used to be the co-op. Oh, for many years ago. Yeah, well, I used, to I used to live just across the road. Including what is now the Salvation Army, was the co-op as well, it was the butchery department. Yeah, it was actually, wasn't it? Yeah, because yeah. um, it was further down Tony's, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, the far end would be where the barbers is now, that was a chippy. It was, yeah. Years ago. Yeah. Well, I left, I left here in 2010, and that's where I used to live, just over, just up that path. Oh, fantastic. That's when they were still cancelled. No, Where'd you live now, sir? Uh, up near Cleethorpe's Beach. Oh, the but beach. my family's here. So, uh, you come to see them? Yeah, come down and see family. And obviously, obviously doing a YouTube, because um, we we've got a YouTube channel as well. Yeah. So, it's nice. You're not, you're not the guy that was doing, does the walk through Skegness, Cleethorpe's. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched it. Oh, you watched it, have you? Yeah. Well, subscribe to the channel, that will be absolutely brilliant. We love it. Yeah, more subscribers. Yeah, so I do Beach Walks, Skegness. I have done uh, Cleethorpes quite a lot. Obviously, you know, living more or less there. You place, don't you? And then uh, we was out. Um, where was we? Uh, was here yesterday. I did this place, but when I did round at the co-op, what used to be the pub, because I used to have a few jars in there myself. I had a young mum with kiddies. Um, so I ended up deleting it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I try not to get kids on, but obviously it does happen. I try not to, but it does. Take a picture of us. Okay. Right. Um, Gainsborough. Hey. Do you want to say, do you want to say who you are? I'm Charlie. I'm from Malta and I came to live in Gainsborough. This is my seventh year and I love it here. And what about you, mate? Does he want to come on? I'm Daniel, I'm just new to Gainsborough, that's the best thing I would say now. Yeah, Thank you're buying a house here. Yeah. Right. Lovely. Well, anyway, as you've heard it, just from some of the locals. Now, I am going to spin the camera. Are you all right? Yeah, Yeah. I'll tell you the reason why I'm going to spin the camera. Um, this man, who I'm pointing to now, knows about what used to be the co-op. So, I'm going to let him um, do a little bit a little bit of explaining himself. Welcome to Gainsborough, I'm, my name's Tim, I'm the Deputy Mayor of Gainsborough and you're in front of what was the old co-op building on Queensway that used to be the main shop. They've now moved to Heaton Street where they've taken the, uh, the old pub down and replaced it with a new co-op. And I was saying I've been in there and had a few beers. We've been in there a few times and had a few beers before they closed it down. And also the bookies, uh, that's, that's gone. That's, 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 gone. that's now a vet. Yeah, uh, is that a vet now there? That's now a veterinary. veterinary. Ah, oh, well, I didn't bother going over. But yeah, I definitely remember when, like I said, this was a co-op. I lived, like I said, just over there where that path is. So I used to come over here and uh, use this place quite a lot. Is. This is, well, as you can see name, it's affordable food. It's, it's an outlet for uh, surplus food, and we tend to be as, as affordable as possible. The whole idea of the premise. Is so, yeah, obviously, Gainsborough has been changing, hasn't it? I mean, Gainsborough has been changing for a long time. And it has come on a lot better than, you know, probably originally planned. Um, but me personally, like I said, because I don't live here anymore, like I said, I left in 2010. 
And every time I come to visit family, I've always noticed that there's something else, something else. It's always, it's always changing, always growing. We've now got a new estate going up on Muckles Foxby Lane. That's now going, that's now something in the region of nearly 2,000 new homes going up. I've been up to uh, North Parade where I used to live as well many, many years back. Nice and, new houses. Yes, I've been and uh, got some footage and filming there as well. Well, you know, the, the flats that were there weren't, weren't the Masonettes. best. Masonettes. Yeah, built in the 70s and 60s and not that brilliant. Now they've been replaced with some beautiful uh, social housing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, from at Golf Course, we've now got some new housing going up next near there as well. Uh, yeah, called Windrick Drive. That's the one. That's yeah. the one, yeah, because I have to pass out on my way back. <laughs> and also all the Sunningdale areas, all that's all brand new housing. Uh, Middlefield Lane School, yeah, which, is, which is gone. Noticed that that's uh, been flattened as well. And that's now a building houses. houses I've, on there as I've well. Come past there as well. Yeah, there's a lot of new houses going up. So you've heard it yourself. So obviously, you know, if you live in Gainsborough now, there is one lad in particular. Um, his name is Andy. He's an ex-Gainsborough lad. Um, now, Andy, obviously, you know, mate. And I did say I'll come and get some footage. Um, I know he'll probably drop me a comment later on on what he thinks to Queensway as we've just had a bit of a uh, walk around in a bit of a circle um, and you know he remembers quite a lot well he knows more about this town than even I do and I still live just across the road here but I, when I lived here I didn't really um, I didn't really go up and down looking for something with age to it or something what was Asian I lived here I didn't need to but ever since I've left um, and ever since like started doing YouTube um, I started to try to pick up on a lot more of history uh, but obviously a lot of it comes from uh, one of our subscribers Andy yeah. he gives me a lot of information that I don't know and he lets me know uh, the one bit of information that he did tell me as well is opposite Kings Bingo on Trinity Street there is actually some underground toilets there is on um, what's that what is now called South Home so that middle bit, middle bit section, you've got the motor stable on one side and you've got Cherie's Fabrics on the other. Right in the middle of that is the toilets. <laughs> that, used to, that used to be there. Oh, you can hear Andy, mate. And ask Andy, does he know where Drill Hall Lane is? Andy, um, this lad has just said, mate, do you know where... Drill Hall Lane is. Drill Hall Lane is. Drop us a comment, mate, later on, obviously. And, uh, and then next time I see this guy, when I come out, I'll tell him. Not a problem. <laughs> anyway, right. Um, yeah, so... Uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna pop in this shot and I'm just gonna take a quick look round. Well, they might as well, aren't we? I mean, well, yeah, while we're here, we'll just have a quick look round inside this, what used to be the co op. And it's not every day somebody actually gets to, to do this. Do you know what I mean? It's not every day somebody actually gets to do this. What, what was it you mentioned about mayor, ex mayor or? I've been the ex mayor twice, yeah. Ex mayor twice, everybody. Wow, can't knock it, can't knock it at all. I'm walking backwards to try and get some better footage. So you can see what this place has got on offer. So if you are in Gainsborough um, and you come to Queensway, at least you can call here, you know, and uh, grab some bits and pieces. I mean, like I said, the co-op obviously was, uh, this was your main door into the co-op. Yeah, that was definitely the main door into the co-op, uh, I'm not going to lie, it was. And the tills, I'll show you where the tills used to be, right behind me. Believe it or not, the tills actually used to be there. That's where the tills was. Oh, hang on a minute, no, hang on, that were the doors into the co-op. No, actually, the tills was over that side. <laughs> now I'm what I'm gonna do is um, there is a little lad over there so I'm not gonna get him on camera but I'm just gonna give you a quick half turn because like I said there is a, a little kitty over there so I'm not gonna get him on camera it's unfair um, but yeah um, and I've just heard mentioning about um, a food parcel um, as well. So, did I just uh, mention about a food parcel as well? Yeah, we're part of the charity that uh, called Food and Games, which does food parcels for those who are struggling. All this is um, almost surplus stock. This is stuff that we try and sell as, as affordable as possible for families. We get a couple of people that come in that are both working that can't make ends meet, and they come here to do their shopping. Right. We are a social network. We look after. Uh, uh, food parcels, we have a community 
in the town centre itself. We have another shop called Bread and Roses in the town centre. We have one in Nottingham as well, one in Hull. And the idea of the shop is to make things as affordable as possible for, for the people to come and buy. Right. So right, so you've heard it yourself. So yeah, you can come and uh, you know get yourself a pool pass on that as well. Anyway, thank you very much. Um, and like I said, it's a pleasure to talk with you. Um, and honestly, it's a pleasure to put you up on our channel. Um, and thank you for letting us have a quick yep. walk around as well. Enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah, I'll try to. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, so you've heard it. So yeah, so you did come through these doors to the co-op. The tills actually was over there. It was my mistake, not there. It was further over. Um, so right, yeah. So now you've, you know, you've heard it yourself from that gentleman, uh, ex mayor twice as well. <laughs> Spot on. Um, so yeah, there you go. So right, we're going to uh, wrap this video up. Um, we're going to go back over to where the car is in the car park. Um, Keely's waiting patiently. Um, obviously, I was only there. Car parks. Well, car park and old co-op. Uh, so yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So I'm just going to take you up here, just give you a bit of a uh, quick. Um, quick overall as you can see the parking behind me okay I mean it's not the biggest car park in the world so uh, you know uh, and then of course you've got another car park here as well and then if you just turn the camera um, I used to live more or less um, in here and I used to park my car just there um, well that's uh, so right yeah so I'll just give you one quick uh, more look and then I'm going to wrap this video up then we're going to head off um, and then do what we need to do and you know so so like I said just over there where my finger is uh, flats flats all across the top of the uh, shops that's from where that little white van is or there where my finger is starting there then of course they go all the way to that end there um, and obviously then if you then if you just look like further over there's some more so like that um, I'm positive I think they're all owned and run by ASIS uh, ASIS group in uh, Gainsborough I think they are I'm not certain some of them could be privately bought I'm not going to be a hundred percent but I definitely know that's what they used to be uh, and I know it's yesterday just on the side there's a little plaque and it does say ASIS uh, and that was on that side and the ones across there uh, so yeah so anyway this is Queensway um, like I said it's Queensway here in Gainsborough so we took you for a bit of a tour around um, obviously we went that way and of course we did come all the way back down this way so uh, yeah if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel that will be absolutely brilliant um, and as I said about Roxy thank you for subscribing to the channel thank you for coming on board and it was nice to have a really great chat with you of course um, up at uh, Skegness at the um, big Las Vegas sign uh, stadium Adventures UK uh, quick mention again the food was absolutely brilliant what you both cooked and you really made me hungry, I swear to God you did. Um, and you said anybody want to do a request for you to cook food, well I'll give you one. A nice chicken korma, spot on. That would be brilliant. Uh, only joking, don't just do it for me, do it for yourself. But if there's any left, I'll come around and eat it. Food. Uh, <laughs> but spot on. Uh, nice drone footage as well, just let you know. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, uh, Andy, at Kane's Blood, mate. Um, drop a comment down there um, and of course as explained mate I, I said I'd come back and you know do it I did do it yesterday uh, but as I explained about that young one with the kiddies um, she did complain a little so I deleted it completely I did not upload it whatsoever so we popped back today to come and um, shoot another one here on Queensway uh, which we've now done um, and you've just heard it from uh, a couple of people as well and you've also heard it from the man that owns that lovely place over there, ex mayor twice, spot on. Um, so yeah, Andy, um, we've shown you the uh, what used to be the pub, of course. We've shown you that, um, and of course the bookies is now gone. But I think said it was a, a vet 
which is uh, the bucky part now. Well, it was the bucky's. So right, yeah, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please come and join the channel. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's what it is. It's what it is. And when I did the football ground, just to point out as well, I know it's not as big as Sheffield United. I know it's not as big as Sheffield Wednesday uh, because I actually did um, start off as a steward down at Bramall Lane in Sheffield uh, for a company called Best Connections and I worked my way up then to a supervisor uh, for a while um, obviously and I was doing crowd control and obviously keeping these stewards in line at that time but that's years ago as well um, so right if you're not subscribed please subscribe it's a big thumbs up from me it's a big thumbs up from Keely um, and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next one uh, just to let you know as well the car's going to be off the road now till the 27th uh, so we're going to I'm a few days now where I'm not doing any filming uh, unless some crops up if we do pop out but I don't think we will be uh, because we want to just try and have a little bit of time at home um, and getting things ready for the kitchen because we are going to redecorate shortly so uh, this could be the last uh, upload now obviously till the 27th um, but yeah I mean if we upload in the meantime brilliant but if we don't it'll be on the 27th uh, so right yeah uh, bye for now see you all in the next one and thank you for taking a walk in and around uh, Queensway uh, with me and Keely. And it was nice to have a chat to that gentleman and the other two gentlemen as well. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Right. Bye for now. We'll see you on the next one. And uh, if you like what you see, drop a comment. And if you did like uh, that old box old car that I just showed you as well, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just over there behind this silver one it's just there where my finger is but it is an old box all and it looks great um so right yeah bye for now we'll see you all on the next one bye for now and i'll just give you one quick look before i wrap the video up Alright, bye for now.